Marty, Marty, Marty. I know you've been working so hard on this project, and I wanted to come by and say thank you. But if it doesn't come online in the next few minutes, I'll have to kill you. One, one moment, Mr. Sutter. I, I just need one more moment. As you can see, the machine appears to be fully functional, though it may take some time for the core to reach peak temperature. Well, then you'll stay until it does. I, I was hoping to see my family tonight. Oh, no. No, no, no. You can't leave in your moment of glory. No, you keep monitoring the core and make sure the reaction remains stable. Or now. Well... Looks like you losers managed to remember who you are. I should have wiped you from existence when I had the chance. Do you have any idea how infuriating it is to know that Merlin was right? Lucky for you, I still believe in some fates worse than death. Like me destroying the spear and cementing this reality for all time. Martin! The reactor is fully operational, sir. This is the only reality any of you will ever know. We'll never give up trying to stop you. <laughs> what? If it weren't for your futile efforts, this wouldn't be half so sweet. Not so fast, Speedy. You have something we want. You need a lesson on how to share your toys, Eobar. Yeah, time for us to get a turn with the spear. And do what with it? Don't you understand? I'm trying to protect you from yourselves. With the spear destroyed... Or now! Let go of the spear and I won't use it to turn you into a jockstrap. Kill you all. Actually, I believe that's my line. Now, where were we before I was so rudely interrupted? guess we're done here. You know the really swell thing about the spear being destroyed? Now you can't stop us from killing you. <laughs> oh, please. Don't insult my intelligence. Even at your fastest, you're moving in slow motion to me. Except they're not alone. I say, we go down fighting. You kill one of us, we kill all of you. For a mile. Don't. Even if you survive my men, you'll never survive me, not without powers or weapons. And the truth is, I don't want to see any more of you dead. Not out of sentiment, of course. No, no, quite the opposite. But because it is so delicious, knowing that you'll be forced to live your lives in a reality that I, well, that we created. You will walk this world knowing that something isn't quite right, that for all your trying, you only made things worse. And no one will ever believe you when you tell them about all the sacrifices you made and how close you came to being legends. Now that sounds like a fitting punishment to me. What do you think, Professor Stein? I don't care what you do to them, as long as I never have to see Mr. Jackson again. Ah. <laughs> Fair enough. You're free to go. You're just gonna let them walk? Be glad I'm letting you and your fellow traitors do the same. And the next time any of you get what you think is a smart idea, remember this grace. And the fact that I could kill any of you in the blink of an eye. <laughs>